On the same day as O'Neill's triumph, a special election was held to fill the unexpired term of Congressman William Mason, who had passed away in June of 1921. In the 1920s, two of Illinois' members in the U.S. House of Representatives were elected at large or statewide, and Mason was one of them. In the special election to fill out the remaining weeks of his term, his daughter, Winifred Sprague Mason Huck, a Republican from Chicago, was elected to Congress, the first woman to represent Illinois on Capitol Hill, and the first woman to win a statewide election in Illinois. I have come into the political world like a clap of thunder out of a clear sky, Huck said of her sudden entrance into the arena. I'm going to take my four children to Washington and get busy. Memories of World War I were still fresh in the minds of many Americans at that time. The nation had just overwhelmingly supported President Warren G. Harding in his call for a return to normalcy after the trauma of the Great War. When Huck arrived in Washington, her views were similar to those of many Americans who did not wish to see the nation pulled into another foreign war. I am for world peace, but against entangling alliances, and I want to see soldiers get a bonus, she said. But Huck's time in Congress was very short. On the same day she won the special election for a 14-week term, she lost the race for a full two-year term. This limitation did not deter her from speaking out on issues important to her, including better child labor laws and amending the Constitution to require all war declarations to be put up for a popular vote. 